Hello friends, welcome to BSA Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So your subscription and likes are always motivating us. If you have any doubts, please comment. Please comment in the section. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about fundamentals of pathology. I am going to cover the cause of plant diseases, which was caused by virus, virus, algae, phenogamic parasites, as well as abiotic disorders. So first of all, we are going to see about virus. So what is virus? It is said to be known as the ultra microscopic disease producing entites. So while seeing about the characteristics of virus, so they, they do not use it to have any metabolic activity compared to other microorganisms. They can be able to contain only one type of nucleic acids which can either be DNA or else RNA. They are said to be the obligate type of parasite of varying shapes. Mm -hmm. So we cannot able to determine which shape they are said to be in nature. So they are even you know, able to small enough to pass through the bacteriological filters. So we cannot able to classify or else we can able to stop the uh, entry of virus through any filters. And even though they are said to be transmitted by insects, seeds, saps, even many other modes. So these are some of the shapes of virus, which can either be rod shape, spherical shape, cocoids, even cubes. So I have given some of the images in size comparison with them. So while seeing about what are the diseases caused them by them or where you can able to see the papaya yellow spots as well as the yellow mosaic virus in citrus crops as well as the cassava plant. These are some of the images and also the images of tomato rot as well as in leaves where you can be able to see the disease symptoms caused by virus. So after that we are going to see about viroids. So viroids are said to be the plant pathogens which consist of a stretch of nuclear base which is highly compared to circular and singular RNA without the absence of protein code. So the name viroid was came from the virus. They use it to have a similar structure like virus as well as mechanism. But the only differentiation is there is absence of protein code in virus. So while seeing about the disease symptoms where you can able to see or classify the affected virus affected potato in this one as well as the the crown part of the tree which is said to be have a cause of yellowing mainly due to the viral organisms as well as after that we are going to see the algae so sorry um, so while seeing algae which is said to be an unicellular organism they are mostly formed by the classification as plants while they are said to be occurring in fresh or salt water or else the moist ground they are also used to have chlorophyll and other pigments but they lack stem root as well as leaves so they are mostly dependent on the host organisms so they must need to require a host for their growth so for example which is a red dust which is sapulorus viruses which is said to be the causative organism in most of the plants like citrus, tomato, mango and most of the tree crops are affected by these red rust sapulorus viruses. And after that we are going to see the phenorgamic parasites. So while seeing about the phenorgamic parasites, they are mostly parasitic seed producing plants which use it to affect other plants too. They, are, they may be totally partial as well as the total parasites. So it can even be classified as total root parasite or total stem parasite uh, or else you can able to say as partial root parasite as well as partial stem parasite. So in these they use it to lack true root system and possess hostoria for the absorption of nutrient from their host material. So they are mostly like yeah, living plants but they are said to be absence of root system. So for example, we are going to see daughter which is a cascata species. So which is said to be known as the total stem parasite. So they are said to be with the absence of chlorophyllous leaves. So it must need to be totally dependent on the host plant and produce hostoria to absorb nutrients from the plant tissue, which is used to cause 80% of yield loss from the host plants. So it is one of the parasite in most of the crops like alfalfa grape wine chili mango etc and after that we are going to see uh, mistlodio 
which is also known as dendrophyte falcati it is said to be known as the partial stem parasite which used it to possess green leaves so they do not use it to have a true system of absorption of uh, flower nutrient materials from the host so they only use it to absorb the water material from the host plant and they do not use it to have a true system like hostoria they are also used to have attractive flowers and berries so even birds are said to be the vector as well as transmitter of these diseases and they are said to be the major parasitic in the host plants like mango guava and sapota and after that we are going to see broom rape which is a or also known as waramenchi ramosa which is also said to be known as the total root parasite so they are said to be in absence of green leaves and there is no root system and they are said to be mainly produced by hostoria which is used to infect tobacco chili tomato as well as sunflower so this broom rape used to have a special character when it used to affect heavy affect uh, affects or else uh, heavy incidence of broom rape used to make the broom rape is said to be a main crop when compared to the host crop so they used to have a high vigorous content when compared to other parasites and after that we are going to see about which weed which is also known as trigger species so it is uh, said to be known as the partial root parasite which is used to process green leaves as well as root system is said to be absent so the hostory is said to be present it is said to be found in corn millets rice sorghum sugarcane as well as in cowpea it is also one of the important root parasite so after that we are going to see about the abiotic diseases or else you can able to say it as disorders because they are not infectious and cannot be spread from one place to another these are mainly done to the plants by the absence of nutrients or else it can either be deficiency or else the higher amount of higher amount which can used to cause toxicity of particular nutrient it can be done due to many of the pollution causes or or else used to the adverse environmental conditions so while seeing about some of the examples so kaira disease which is mainly done due to the zinc deficiency in rice so the symptoms are said to be are the brown blotches as well as streak appears on the lower leaves and chlorotic midribs particularly near the leaf of the younger leaves are some of the symptoms and after that you can able to see the iron chlorosis in sugarcane so which is used to have the symptoms of stunting yellowing and grass like appearance where you cannot able to have a economic part of the stem and the calcium in in tomato which used to causes blossom in rot so where the small and water soaked spots appear which used to enlarge after the fruit develops so which used to cause the decaying of the fruit and uh, boron deficiency in mango which used to cause the black tip of mango due to the disturbance in boron metabolism so they used to contain the fumes of carbon monoxide as well as sulfur or oxide which alter the boron metabolism in this crop which is used to reduce the economic value as well as the quality of the crop and a molybdenum deficiency which is used to be known as the whip tail of cauliflower so where the leaves used to shrunk and also appears like a whip tail and where the chlorosis of leaf margin and the whole leaves may turn white and it used to develop the midribs of midribs and the green chlorophyll portion are said to be reduced and which is mainly occur in acidic soil where the soil ph is below 5.5 percentage and oxygen so which used to cause black heart of potato and the blackening of interior tissue of tubers and also causes the hollow region inside the potato due to the lack of oxygen and the copper Uh, which used to cause dieback or amination as well as exanthia in citrus so they usually formation of unusual vigorous large dark green foliage with bowing up to of the midribs so they used to twist along with unusual vigorous long 
soft angular and frequently a shaped and drooping of the economic ones so which used to cause the exanthia insectus the image and after that the sun scale so which is mainly by the excess sunlight so it can be due to the improper pruning of the host plant so because of that the economic pot where the fruit used to have higher sunlight up, um, incident so which causes the rotting of whole fruit and uh, reduce the economic yield so these are all the abiotic disorders so i have given the lecture notes in description so if you have any doubt please comment in the section and also join us in the instagram page i have given the link in these ones so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch up in next videos